of our study was on um, climate change economics and so looking at balancing future warming uh, with climate damages and also with um, the cost of abatement and in particular we're really focused on identifying uh, pathways that achieve a tolerable future but we define tolerable in our study as being uh, warming limited to 2 degrees C in the year 2100 at a uh, abatement cost of 3% and a, of gross world product and a climate damages level of below 2%. The window or the pathways that we, uh, we can take to achieve a tolerable future are rapidly closing. And uh, in large part they're a function of the climate sensitivity which we don't control and we don't really have a good understanding of what its true value is. But if we have any hope of achieving a tolerable future, uh, we need to act very rapidly uh, within the next decade to significantly reduce our emissions. One way to reduce greenhouse gases, of course, is to reduce the burning of fossil fuel. This is gas, oil, for example. And this means we need to have a better efficiency of, of cars, of energy production, of traveling, of heating. This would mean that we transition from fossil fuels that are carbon intense, such as coal, to less carbon intense, such as natural gas, and we phase out and change from fossil fuel to renewable energy, such as wind or biomass. One of the things we show in our analysis is that um, abatement in the next few decades would be very costly for basically our generation would be paying those costs. Uh, but would have very little impact on our experienced warming because there's a certain amount of warming that's um, because of the emissions that have already been emitted no matter what we did today we're going to experience that warming however if you go to the end of the century um, people living in the year 2100 and 2120 um, are going to have virtually no control over the climate that they're experiencing because it will be dictated by the actions that we would have taken earlier in the century so it really highlights the the responsibility that the current generation has to future generations in ensuring what their what their climate and what the world is going to look like.